this is what we're dealing with today guys the new cajun fish wrap from arby's so the hush puppy fish strips were a little on the pricey side they were decent but they were a little on the pricey side so this is what arby's did well they came out with this at the same time so it wasn't like in light of that or whatever but they took three of those hush puppy fish strips with lettuce tomato and a cajun remoulade little mayonnaise type i guess mixture with some cajun seasoning they threw it into a artisan wrap and uh so you get the wrap with the three three hush puppies battered fish strips lettuce tomato and the artisan wrap with that real lot uh five dollars and 99 cents that's what uh that's what it was at my local arbors i'm pretty sure that's like the regular regular price the the three regular three hush puppies by their uh, hush puppies the regular three hush puppy battered fish strips by theirself was uh 425 plus tax so six bucks you get it in a wrap let's check this thing out it looks pretty decent let's see what we got That sauce, that remoulade, that is really good. Man. I mean, that is really good. That would be good on, on uh, like a chicken sandwich, a fish sandwich, a fish wrap. That is, uh, that is definitely the star of the show. The one with that leaf lettuce which is a little bit hard to, to kind of uh, break apart when you bite into it. That sauce definitely, definitely, definitely makes this sandwich, like without it, it would just be okay. Like maybe if they just, if, like if they just put mayonnaise in there, it would just be okay. That sauce takes it up like a whole nother level it's a little bit spicy not um, not so much that like if you if, if you're a little sensitive to heat but you like a little bit of spice um, it's not so much that it would it would be a problem for you it does have just a little bit of heat it is a Cajun seasoning it's supposed to have some heat I'm definitely way in love with this sauce that they put on this wrap. And the artisan bread, or artisan wrap that they used, it has a little bit of a uh, little little bit of toasting. So it has uh it has that uh almost like grilled what's the bread what's the bread they they cook inside the clay inside the clay pots they put it up against the edge i can't remember what it's called right now i can't think of it. i can't think of the name of it but it has that flavor it has that flavor of uh it's like a, it's an indian bread i believe i'm pretty sure pretty sure it's uh usually in most in indian restaurants All right, so you know when it has Cajun in the name, it's definitely going to have a little bit of heat. So I already mentioned that. I was trying to think of like where it ranks in heat. If you've had like a Baja sauce, um, like a, a, a jalapeno red sauce that you would get in a lot of uh, uh, burritos and, and things like that, especially with uh, with Taco Bell, this is the, the, the spice level is like really really similar to the the spice level that comes on like the quesadillas uh that's that's basically where that where that uh spice level is man this uh this is the what this is the one they should have like really been advertising the most like just really talking up this uh this wrap it's about to leak right here on me 
they should have been talking this wrap up not not the hush puppy battered breaded fish because it doesn't come off really like hush puppy um this is what they should have been talking up all right guys the cajun fish wrap from arby's let me go ahead and say this just just bypass the regular fish strips the hush puppy fish strips just bypass that if you're going to get them make sure you get them in the combo so you got a little bit of value with it but i would say just bypass that go straight to the wrap if you like a little bit of spicy you like that cajun flavor just bypass the the strips by themselves. get this wrap this thing is really really good none bread it just came to me nun bread that's the name of the bread like they cook inside the the clay pots the really heated up clay pots that's what that artisan bread reminds me of that's the flavor it reminds me of it is like everything just complements very well the uh, the leaf lettuce is, it throws me off a little bit because it doesn't tear as easy like when you bite it the whole thing the whole leaf wants to slide out of the wrap so uh I don't know, maybe uh, uh, iceberg probably would have been a little bit better or maybe uh, some romaine or something like that. But I don't really want to complain very much about it because I think this was a really, really good wrap. Uh, this is uh, this is one that I would definitely get again. I would recommend on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to say for me, this is an 8.6. Definitely worth the 8.6. Really good wrap. If you've had it, leave some comments. Let me know what you thought of it. Uh, the value is uh, about what you would expect, $5.99 for a good size wrap. Uh, you could actually split it, which it's already split. You could actually share it with somebody else, get some fries, some of those curly fries or whatever to go with it, and uh, you're, you're getting a good value with that. But anyway, yeah, that is my view of the Cajun fish wrap from Arby's. And with that, I say good day.